never hit this button. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So what would be good to start with is if everyone could draw a bunch of just really simple figures. So do like a head. Just like sort of like the little figures you see on the toilet doors or the the crossing the road, the do not walk sign. Just simple like that. Because we'll draw over the top of these. Something to put clothes on. So if you draw like maybe three of those. I can show you some different clothing techniques. It doesn't have to be your boys or girls, just, just a figure with two arms, two legs. Like a mannequin. Or a, or a dressmaker's um, model. Although they don't usually have legs usually just a torso. Okay, they don't have to be perfect, they don't have to be identical, just roughly three little people like that. Okay. So hold them up when you're done so I can see how you're going. Tristan, good. Yep. That's good. Callum. Yep, that's good too. It might be a little bit small, that last one. You want to make them big enough so you can actually draw clothes on. So mine are sort of as big as my finger, roughly. Big as my middle finger, yeah. So that's an A4 page. Yeah, we can't see the whole page, but I've got Three, three on the page. I could fit four if I really wanted to. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is, I wanna show you how to make some rounded clothing because I'll zoom in a bit on this one. Because it's easy enough if you want to put like a t-shirt and shorts on this one. It's easy enough to just go, there's the sleeves, there's a shirt, and there's some shorts. That's really easy. We, we don't want to do that. We want to make it look a little bit more realistic, a little bit more advanced. Because I've seen all of your drawings before. Well, most of you have seen your drawings before. And I know you can do better than that. So what you want to do is big closer. Oh, hang on. There we go. All right. So instead of drawing a straight line across, draw a curved line that goes either outside the line. Like that. And then the shorts can come from the outside of the line up. Like that. And you can then erase the original leg and just leave the shorts. So see how they don't just come straight down the line, we actually have a short leg and then the leg, the pants leg, and then the leg. So we want to go yes to that and no to that. 
and the same with the sleeve. Um, up there so you can see both. I'm going to change one of these arms and make it go out straight. Actually, I'll leave both arms on there. There we go. One arm going out, one arm coming down. So again, we don't want to just do a line across. We want to do it a curved line a bit further out on both sides. And then bring the sleeve up. Okay, it's the same thing here. We want to have a bit more gap, not just flat. Now, <clears throat> if you look, if you're wearing, everyone looks like they're wearing a t-shirt of some sort. If you look down at your armpit, you notice, so this bit here, you notice that your shirt, if you lift your arm up, out like this, and then down again, whilst looking at your armpit, you'll see that there's a bunch of creases on the, in, on the underside. So it's where the shirt comes up and it starts folding over like that. So you have creases either side in there. So when the arm's out, um, the sleeve, it might not stick out as much at the top, but stick out more at the bottom. So it might come like that. So I'll draw another one here to show you. You don't want to do that. You want to do that. Nope. Yes. So have a bit of the sleeve hanging down. Because that's what happens if you lift your shirt up. You can see that your sleeve, it depends on how baggy or how tight your shirt is, but it's going to hang down like that. Now, to give it a bit more detail, I'm just going to come up a little bit. Um, what you can do with this kind of a sleeve, or even the short, depends on if the leg is bent. I draw a bent leg. This could be an arm or a leg. So there's a bent one. Um, Anna, I'll get your question in a second. So instead of drawing the curve that way, you could draw the curve the other way and curve it up. See how I've got a little loop at the bottom? So that's the pant leg. You can see or the sleeve, and you can see how the arm goes into it, but it stops. So this bit here is the inside. Um, I know if you've got a question. Yeah. Can we draw faces and hair? Um, I'll do some hair today if we have time, but we're not really focusing on faces today. We're doing more clothing. That's what today's lesson is about. Um, the next lesson on, let me see, on Friday next week, we're doing elves and fairies, so we'll do faces then. Tuesday is another comic class. So um, back to the drawings here. So doing little um, circles like that will really help um, get sort of a 3D sense on your drawings. So. You could still do them curved that way. So you can't see the circle. So basically what that is, if I was drawing the shorts down, there's a curve like that, but actually the hole goes all the way around. It's just that depending on the angle is which one you see. So the pants might look like that. Pockets, zipper, and this might, you might see inside this leg, but this one, if I rub that out, you're just seeing the, the top of it. So there was a seam going along like that. So it looks like someone's walking now because this one 
is bent forward and this one looks like it's mm. bent backwards. So you could imagine if there was a leg sticking out of this one. And the leg sticking out of this one. So it looks like the foot's coming up. And this one, the foot's going backwards. Uh, around, should I draw that? Should the bed backwards? Like that. Okay. But oh, we didn't do the bottom of the shirt. <laughs> so instead of doing straight across again, you can do a curve. And again, you can make that curve go out if you want it to be a bit baggier and then bring it up. So it's not just straight up and down the figure, it sticks out a bit. See how there's a, a gap like that? Okay, how's everyone going with that? Is everyone understanding? Do you want to show me what you've got? It's good, Will. Yeah. Oh, no, that's cute. <laughs> I feel like you've got a little face on there. Tristan, that's good. Yeah, good, Callum. It's really good, Olive. Yeah. Uh, Sajda, you, oh, okay, yeah. Sometimes you might have to turn off your um, your background, but no, you've got it, it works good, I can see it. Okay, so what if we were drawing something baggy, like um, a skirt? Sorry, that's really good. Uh, we're drawing a skirt or baggy pants or something like that, or a baggy jumper. What I would do is I'd find where, I want it to start. Find the shape. It might be just a long skirt like that. Sort of that length. And then I don't really want it to be straight across the bottom. Sometimes I do because if it's the style, a very graphic style, I might just do it straight. But you, you're probably going to have a, a wave in it like that. And then I'll rub out the legs. So I've done that a little bit too low. Looks like it's long on one side. So just adding that curve makes it a bit more realistic. And, <clears throat> excuse me. So depending on the type of skirt, um, it could just have a few creases in it, like maybe just a little curves like that. So it looks like something's right around that's sort of pulling up this way, especially if it's a wraparound skirt, might have that. Or, um, I'll draw another one just below this. If it was a pleated skirt, like some, um, a netball skirt, or I think netball skirts do it, or even um, some school skirts, school dresses, skirts, yeah. Um, so it had the legs coming out bottom here. Now if it was pleated, it sort of has sections like this. It's almost drawing stripes, but every other one comes up a little bit. Up and then down and then up and then down. And then up and another one up there. So I'm gonna rub out those little bits in there. We get a little bit lower. Like a school skirt, especially one you might see in an anime. Up, down, up, down, up, down. So these ones are sort of in a little bit of shadow. <clears throat> okay, 
So because of the pleating, they don't really get these wrinkles in them. But also, if you're going to then have legs walking, like here, where one's forward, then the shape of the dress isn't going to be straight. Um, you're going to see the underside of it. So basically, a skirt is you have the hole for the waist and it comes down and then there is a hole at the bottom, right? Because the body goes through the legs, arms, head. So it's like it has a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom. So if you imagine that tube or a straw or really anything that you can look at from straight on, see how they sharpen up? It's a square. But if I look at it on the side, it's a rectangle. But if I angle it slightly, you can see the underside. If I angle it the other way, you can see the top. So that's what's going to happen with the skirt. So we'll draw one over here. Let's keep the top straight and we'll get the shape, the rough shape. But we'll imagine that one leg's coming forward and one leg's going back. So that one's going to be a bit smaller. That one's going to be coming forward a bit more. So what's going to happen with this line is this one might curve down, but this side will curve up. And that means you're going to see the inside, like we did with the shorts over here. You're going to see the inside. So that's going to curve around and join back up to there. See how they join up? It starts here, curves around to the other side, and then it curves around back to the beginning again. But you're only going to see the underside here. <clears throat> you don't need the lines here. Does that make sense? And then because this one is being pulled forward, you might get some lines in there. Okay, so I'll do another little demonstration here with, uh, let's do like a big baggy jumper or a hoodie or something. So that's going to have a wrist, uh, a band around the wrist and a band around the waist, sort of elastic -y kind of band. So I've just drawn in the limitations of it could even draw say it's going to have a hood we'll draw a hoodie so we can just draw sort of where the hood's going to go at the top as well you know with the little dangly drawstring now if i wanted to make that look like it was big and baggy I could, um, what I would do is I'd come down and make the sleeves puff out. Now the sleeves could sort of cover over like that. So you'd still see the cuff around the wrist, but the arm would look really thick. And of course you'd get those underarm wrinkles. The other thing you can do to make it look too big is you could extend the arm down, still get the underarm wrinkles, and have it hang down and then draw the wrist bit down there. And 
undo the arm, undo the arm, rub out the arm. So you could put a little indication of where the hand might be in there too. And this one sort of folded up a bit. So that's like two different jumpers. That's one jumper where it's really long. That's one jumper where it's just got bulky sleeves. Um, now for the, the waist part, it's gonna sort of overhang like this in the sleeves. So you could draw like it coming down and going back up. So it's sort of hanging over one side. Maybe I'm sticking out on that side as well. So it looks big and comfy. Another one you could do. Just draw a slightly smaller figure this time. To show something really big and baggy, you could draw the, uh, the seams that are on a sleeve. You usually get seams, seams that go up um, from the armpit around the arm. You could draw those in instead of drawing them up here, draw them down here. So that's the shoulder and the neck hole. Mm. And then continue the arm down from that. So it looks really big. And the same with the waist, you could just continue the waist down. Maybe this character's wearing it like a dress. That might still have some, because it's a big floppy material like this dress here, you might get some of those creases in it. Like that. They don't always have to go that way, they can go anywhere. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some themed clothing. So you can think of, I'm just gonna move that one out of the way. Put it, actually, put it up there so you can still see it. So think of um, any kind of topic, like um, I'm sure you've seen in Pokemon sometimes they have um, the trainers are dressed like their Pokemon. So that's a theme. So they might have a Pikachu themed costume or something like that. So here's my next model. Let's just go with something like a, a frog. So if this person was gonna wear a frog themed outfit, what might they have? They might, frogs have big goggly eyes. So maybe they've got, um, that maybe they're wearing goggles. So do goggles on the top of the head. Okay, let's just put in an easy face there. Goggles like that. Uh, maybe they are wearing flippers. So I can draw flippers on there. And of course, you know, do it all green or something. They might have um, maybe they're wearing like um, overalls that have like a little frog character on them. 
you know, something simple like that. So it's just normal clothes, but they're sort of frog themed. Maybe this pants are all rolled up. You can see their skinny legs. Um, they also could have uh, gloves on. So in between their fingers, they could be webbing so they can swim better. Uh, maybe this little frog has little rosy cheeks. So they gave themselves some rosy cheek makeup or something. You know, so that's sort of a bit of a thing. Um, it's very sort of normal clothing theme. But what if I was to say, um, do a theme that was um, time, for example, that's a hard one to do. So I'm gonna give you guys one. I'll give you, I'm gonna give you guys plants is gonna be your theme. So think about that while you watch this. So if this was a costume based on time, maybe, maybe this person has, um, let's see, so clocks and time. They could have clocks all over their body. Maybe their face, just draw this face in. Maybe they've got the numbers all around their face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. That could be like face paint. They've got numbers on their face. Um, they could have a little egg timer on their belt. Um, let's see. They could have uh, like big hands, the hands on a clock. Maybe they have that as a, a staff, one of the big pointy hands from Big Ben or something. So that's the big hand and maybe they've got another one, a little dagger or something that's the little hand. So they can actually point out time. They could have you know, Roman numerals across here, things like that. They could have a big skirt that's all just numbers all over it, things like that. So um, yeah, try and think of, think of one now, and I want you to draw this on your own and then show me. One that is based on plants or even mushrooms. Um, sort of the way how Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy is a whole character based on a plant. But think of clothing, not just a whole body. So, a hat made out of flowers or something, or vines and things like that. Vines for belts. How would you come up with something like that? What do you think you could come up with? Would there be um, like a, a fairy might have a petal skirt or a rosebud for a hat or something like that? Think of what you might do. They could have items that they're holding as well. They're holding a big flower, but it's a, a staff or a club or something like that. It could be based on one particular flower, like a rose. And so there could be a lot of thorns. Um, they could have spikes on their costume. Uh, which other drawing are you talking about? These ones? Just have a play around with costume design and think what you might um, you might come up with. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention to the chat room. Let me just go through while you're doing that. Okay, so yeah, we are finishing at 12.30. <clears throat> For those that were inquiring about that.
to also think about too when things are being pulled across the body, like if you grab grab your shirt even and, and pull it and then look at the lines that are created. So I'm just gonna do a couple more sketches while you um doing that. So imagine someone pulling at a shirt, getting lots of lines getting pulled. Like that. Someone's pulling at it. <laughs> See how that's pulling across the body? That's just a very simple idea. And it's bringing the shirt up and showing the body underneath. Uh, or even if you're... throwing a bit more of a curvy character, maybe they've got a belt. And it's something being pulled over to one side. That might be where it's tied up. So things are in, everything's getting pulled over to the side. Just little things like that. Or if you're rolling up a sleeve. You might want to show where it's all crumpled up, but then the sleeve above is going to be crumpled as well. Okay, so how did you have you gone with your plant-based designs? Let's see what you've got. Do the clock on. Oh, okay. Spring flower at the top, vine whip, nice. <laughs> That's a cool vine whip. Uh, good job, Will. Has anyone else done something they're finished? So we can see. Pallum. Wow. Looks like um, a pirate hat or, or a shell even. That's cool. A shell one might be good, like seashells. Jonathan? Nice. Wow, it's a lot there. Yeah, good job. <laughs> That's the frog one. Yeah, really good. Um, so, let's see. Oh, is that your mermaid from yesterday, Jonathan? That's really good. Is that yours? Oh, it's olives. Okay, that's good. That's cool. Oh, wow. Size down. That's really nice. Okay, so let's do one together. So I'm going to draw another. I think this is my last piece of paper. Do another little figure just lightly so we can change things around. It's another figure like that. And this time, let's do, we did plants, we did a time one. Oh, oh, excuse me. Let's do like a gown, a big gown, like a fancy dress princessy kind of gown, but let's base it on garbage. So actually let's let's change the, the model a little bit. Let's make it a little bit more realistic. So it's not going to be such a short model. 
you're gonna have the chest and body. Actually, I'm gonna just do this. Make the base of it big, like a big gown, like that. And you can extend the arms a little bit too. Make them a bit longer and a bit thinner. So that's our new model. All right, so can everyone do that? Yes, yeah, so what if we're doing like the princess of trash? <laughs> or like a, a, a bride's gown made of trash. So maybe this could be a big garbage bag. Um, so this could be like a bit lumpy. Like it's a big bag of trash. A couple of lumps to the side. Oh, that might be good how brides usually have like a train. Like I have a long, like either from the, the head just coming down or a long bit of material. What if we did the bag, the garbage bag has split open. And then there's just a train of rubbish. So I'm just gonna draw a bunch of lumps like that, but you could draw like um, some drink, containers, apple cores, um, you know, banana peels, all kinds of rubbish in there and even have it smelling, like have like little stink lines. <laughs> That's good, Jonathan. It looks like the Ice King from um, Adventure Time. Yeah, that's good, Callum. Yeah, have rubbish coming out. Um, you could even do make it see if it's made up of lots of different garbage bags. So there could be some ties. Yeah, you tie up the garbage bag here and there. So they could be they look could look like little bows, but they're actually the garbage bags tied up. <clears throat> so it's made up of lots of different garbage bags, and then it's split open. Um, now, moving up the top, what else? What other bits of garbage could we put in there? Um, we need some kind of bodice. Could be made of, what if it was just a garbage can? So we can draw the circle at the top for the garbage can. Like that. You don't see these kind of garbage cans very much anymore. But you know, like Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street, he lives in a garbage can. Um, and you could even do, what if there was um, water or some kind of liquid seeping out of the bottom of the, the garbage can. So it looks like it's all sloppy and gross. Come, what's that? I can't read what that says. <clears throat> Maybe the lid for the garbage can she's wearing as a hat. And an angle. See how I did the oval shape? And then 
you can draw the handle on the top. Um, her hands, like sometimes when um, women are wearing gowns, they might have gloves that come up past their elbow. She could be wearing a rubber glove. Phone, hold it up, Callum, I can't read it. Phone home, oh, ET phone home, okay. <laughs> Um, she'll be wearing like one rubber glove, maybe it's broken, or she could even have a small glove in here, and even have as if she's dipped her hand in something, oil or something, and so it's all going all the way up her arm. But she can still look dainty, but gross. Maybe this one, she has a rubber glove on. Maybe she's got trash stuck to her, a crumpled up piece of paper. Um, time to draw some rubbish. Would you like uh, um, aluminium cans, sort of crushed can? Uh, um, Broken bottles. Trashed Gucci man. Who's doing the Gucci man? Who was that? I didn't see who that was that wrote that. Uh, was it Trisha? Someone signed it to me. Oh, there we go. Nice. It's <laughs> good. Um, even her hair. You could do her hair sort of up in a, in a bun or something or a braid or something like that and have, I don't know, like a half-eaten lollipop stuck to it. Just sort of bits of hair sticking out everywhere. Trashed Captain Underpants. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe her, yeah, her hair's all sticky outy. It is, it's a garbage gown. There we go. Simple face for her. And her neck going down to her arms. So it's like a, a trash princess. I didn't draw handles on the garbage can. There you go. So then, what do you think of that? <laughs> it's a bit silly, but hopefully you've learned a few things about trying clothing. Jonathan likes it. <laughs> um, all right, why don't I, we've only got a few minutes left. Why don't I give you another, another thing? What if we did, um, I want you to draw someone, I'll draw a, an, an animal and then draw someone in that animal's costume. So dressed up as that animal. So you need to draw a person. It could be a Pokemon as well, if you want to do a Pokemon. If you want to do like someone dressed up as Pikachu or something like that. You draw a person and some kind of animal. So draw the animal first, figure out what it's going to be. And then you have to draw that person dressed as the animal. So it could be a made up animal. Something from mythology, like a minotaur or a sphinx or a griffin. 
Um, you can draw a Pokemon like Pikachu or a Bulbasaur or a Flaffy. Um, or it could be a real animal like a fox or a cat, something like that. Then how would that person look to try and dress up as that animal? <clears throat> I might draw a turtle or a tortoise. Maybe this person who's dressing as a tortoise has a big hard hat on that has shells, shell design on it. Uh, maybe they're wearing a turtleneck. Let's see. They could have sort of like a soldier, could have body armor on. Boots. Or maybe even from the side. He's got a big, big backpack on that looks like a turtle shell. Says I like turtle man, man dressed as a turtle, a tortoise. So let's see what you come up with. We've got a couple of minutes left. Um, Drew, is it a dog? <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, don't forget if you've got a background on you, I have to turn it off so I can see your drawing. Oh, so is Dar. That's cute. That's very good. Cute little kitty. I don't think of another one I can do quickly. Um, or if you want to do like a little Pikachu. Just do a little, little fat Pikachu. Then the person might have drawn on cheeks, rosy cheeks. Um, they might have some fake ears, 
one, maybe it's a headband or something. Of course, Pikachu's got short legs. Maybe they've got baggy pants. So it looks like comes all the way down like that. And just the little feet stick out the end. Cut the belt on. They could have, they could have a tail attached to the back or they could just be holding a little, a little sort of lightning tail shaped stick. Uh, Sajda, you've got a question? I don't have a question, but in my country, I have seven cats plus my mom, my mom's friend, my my auntie and uncle's cats. Mm -hmm. I have twelve cats. Wow, that's a lot of cats. <laughs> so did you? What? You drew a cat, did you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, how did I? Can you unmute just you mute yourself? I don't know how I did that, but I muted myself. Um, <laughs> Oh, I think it went away. That's why. I know. Um, okay. So, um, Anna, I don't think I've seen yours yet. Sasha, I don't think I've seen yours. What did you do, Sasha? Do you want to hold it up? That looks good, Tristan. Got horns. Cow kind of thing. That's good. Um, what, okay, I'll give you another one to do. We've got three minutes, so really quickly. Do a fish-themed costume or an under-the-sea costume. So think of seaweed, think of fish, think of shells, how you could make a costume out of them. Maybe they have a belt made of seaweed or made of shells. Maybe they could have shells on as armour, like as shoulder pads or a crown, maybe they have um, an octopus for a skirt or a kilt. Um, what else? They maybe they just have a, a fish with a really big mouth and they open the mouth up and put the head inside and wear it like a hat. So I think of some sort of creative and, and weird ideas, things that aren't usually normal. <laughs> Looks like a shark man. He's got a tail and he's got a fin on his head. You could even limit it to just one kind of fish. Like what if I just did just a puffer fish? And it could be, they could be wearing Puffy fish, like I said, as a hat, but it's all inflated, so it has spikes everywhere. They could have a puffy skirt. I'll just rub out the legs. The spikes sticking out. This could even be a cactus. Um, And yeah, maybe they've got uh, necklaces. That's lots of different necklaces, but it's actually fishing line. And there's like hooks on it, and sinkers and stuff around the necks, uh, or the neck, not the necks. Like, yeah, they can even have an earring. That's a big fish hook.
or, or like floaties and things. It's that one, Will. Oh, you did the puffer skirt. <laughs> I like the eyes, <laughs> big fishy eyes. Um, yeah, so it's sort of like fashion design, like designing dresses and 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 fashion for men and women. Um, but it's sort of making a bit fun and making really good character costumes. I don't know if you guys play Fortnite or anything like that, but there's lots of different costumes in that, lots of themes. Um, like look at all the different um, gliders and stuff you can get in that. Sometimes they're dragons, sometimes they're um, drones, sometimes they're just kites and things like that. So there's lots of different um, different things you can come up with and try and redesign or reskin if it was in gaming terms. Um, we are actually out of time now. So what I'd like to see is everyone hold up their favorite drawing they did today. Something that they're proud of and they thought that'd be cool. Or they would go back and draw again properly to make a new character. <laughs> E.T. Go Home, that was your favorite color. <laughs> Uh, little cat girl, yeah. Trash bride. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Everyone did really well today. Sasha's disappeared. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Olive, I like that. Really nice with petals and stuff and vines around the arms. It's really good. Yeah. I think we're out of time. I hope we you are. enjoyed the class. Um, yeah, okay, so I think this is the last class of this week, and next week we're starting on Tuesday, right? I think Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday yeah. is the sort of advanced comic class, hmm. and then Friday is the um, elves and fairies. Okay. All right, thank you, everyone. I'm going to unmute everyone to say goodbye to Mr. Evan. Bye. Yay. Bye. 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 Bye.